Join us now, the ranking member of the Committee on Oversight and Government Reform, Democratic Congressman Elijah Cummings of Maryland. Congressman Cummings, always good to see you, sir. Uh, I want to talk about good your committee's investigation in just a moment, but interested in your impressions of what we've seen over the last couple of days. We have the chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, Bob Corker, coming out and alerting effectively the country that Donald Trump's loose rhetoric could lead us into World War III and saying that many of the senators that he serves with say the same things he's saying publicly behind closed doors. I'm curious, what do you hear from your Republican colleagues in the House when they talk about Donald Trump, maybe some of the things that they won't say in public? I hear, I hear the same things that Senator Corker said, and I have been asking them why don't they uh, say these things in public? I think many of them are concerned about uh, being the victim of a tweet. Other ones are worried about having somebody run against them from the right. And there are others who uh, basically say, uh, boys will be boys. But uh, as one of my constituents said to me this morning, uh, she believes that President Trump is playing Russian roulette with her destiny. And so what are their concerns when they speak to you specifically? What do they worry about with President Trump? They worry about, uh, the thing I hear the most is about a war with North Korea. They believe that someone like the president of North Korea and with our president uh, going back and forth, that one moment could cause war. And that war would be quite destructive. They also worry that the business of the American people is not being done. In other words, the people who are laying right now in the hospital trying to figure out how they're going to pay their bills. They're wondering what's going to happen to themselves. They're wondering about, uh, they look at things like folks flying all around the country, cabinet members flying all around the country uh, at, on their tax dollars and trying to figure out well, whatever happened to them. In other words, they're spending so much time living these lavish lives that they've forgotten about why we're here. And I think basically well, people... Let me, there are let, a lot let me of, ask wait, you about let me that finish, for a second, finish, let me, Congressman. Yeah, yeah, yeah let me just say one thing, Joe. I, but, there are a lot I of people who are afraid. I want you, I, hold on. Uh, we've got a delay. I want you to go into the last thing, but, but you just talk, touched on something that I think is very important. I can't mm -hmm. even begin to imagine if Bill Clinton's cabinet flew around the country on private jets and military jets for bizarre reasons like this. I mean, you've got the Treasury Secretary that goes with his newlywed wife. They go stand on the, 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 the top of, you know, pile of gold at Fort Knox to see a total eclipse of the sun. You've got a vice president who, who does a, a, what, what may end up being a $500,000 PR stunt. They actually tell the press, hey, sit tight. He's going to be right back down. He, use, he uses the Secret Service, government planes, flies from Las Vegas. The Indianapolis back out to LA for another fundraiser. You've got the Interior Secretary. You've got the EPA, head of the EPA. You've got all of these people living like rock stars on taxpayers' yeah, dollars. Yeah. I can't even imagine right. how, what Republicans would say if Barack Obama or Bill Clinton's people did that. Let me be clear, uh, Joe. The Republicans in our Congress and the Senate are aiders and abettors to Donald Trump. He couldn't do all the things that he does and his cabinet do the things that they do unless the uh, folk in the Congress just kind of sat back and said there will be no accountability. And that's basically what is happening right now. When Donald Trump made that uh, comment about being able to walk down the street and shoot somebody and people would still be for him, you know, when he said it, I didn't believe it. But now I do. Yeah. Because there's no accountability. Really? Uh, so let me yeah, ask. Well, we let, let me get into some of this. You, we touched on the the air travel, and I know you've requested uh, proof that Tom Price has in fact reimbursed the former Health and Human Services Secretary has reimbursed uh, the government and taxpayers for all those flights he took. What have you found as you've requested those documents? Did Tom Price in fact reimburse the total that he uh, laid on taxpayers to fly around the country? We have documents that are due today, so I can't even tell you, we haven't gotten all the documents in yet, but according to press reports, apparently he paid the 50, paid $52,000. But come on now. I mean, the guy's been flying around uh, at the expense of the American people from, 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 from Washington to Philadelphia when he could have taken uh, the Amtrak train and gotten there probably faster. Mm. Come on now. There's something wrong with this picture. 
and some and at some point the American people and the Congress through their Congress people have to speak up and fight against this uh, because basically we are like I said we're in a culture now of un, uh, accountability. there's no accountability whatsoever and I think the president knows this but but the more important thing is that while all of that is happening the people's business is not being done they rushed away from the Affordable Care Act straight to try to get the, to do this tax cut deal uh, and 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 so and, and then they complain that the Affordable Care Act is not working while the president does everything in his power to undercut it give me a break Congress we are better than that congressman Elise Jordan here on a separate pressing and very disconcerting issue, you have called for oversight of some of the White House staffers who have used private email for government work. What's <clears throat> happening with that? Well, as you know, uh, we had, uh, Chairman Gowdy and I had sent a letter to Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner a few weeks ago and said, look, uh, we now hear from press reports that you uh, have been using private emails. Uh, we ask you to preserve them, do not relocate them, and, and, and within 24 to 48 hours of our notice to them, they then relocate them to the Trump organization that is run by Ivanka's brothers. There's something wrong with this. So in other words, what they did was take uh, their personal, these email accounts that we wanted to look at and transfer them to an organization that they say they said that they had broken ties with because of conflicts of interest. And basically, I'm asking them, what do you have to hide? Um, and we will continue to, 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 to pursue this. Uh, it concerns me. We want to know wh whether those documents were classified, uh, what was done, what, how is the Trump uh, organization protecting uh, those documents? Uh, and so, again, Joe, Going back to what you were talking about, let me tell you something. If Democrats did one, did this, and uh, Republicans would go crazy, they would be all over it. We would be spending millions and millions of dollars, but they are absolutely silent. That's you, you hear nothing but silence. So when Corker said what he said, I understood it. I mean, but but this is what I knew all the time. But one of the things that I tell yeah. my constituents, let me say this is that while uh, President Trump is playing hocus pocus, we've got to make sure we keep our eyes on what we are fighting for. <clears throat> and that is fighting for our destiny and our democracy. All right, thank you so much, Elijah. As always, we always greatly appreciate you being here. Elijah Cummings and Willie, you. I, you know, I, I sat on the Government Reform and Oversight Committee and I can tell you that Republicans were shocked and stunned and deeply saddened by wasting tax dollars in a far less egregious ways than how Trump's cabinet uh, is wasting it. It's, 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 it's really unbelievable that these are the people that said they were going to drain the swamp. And I have never in a quarter century of following politics, being in politics, reporting on politics, I've never seen a cabinet is out of control and is entitled to waste tax dollars on travel as this cabinet. It's just, uh, it's unprecedented. And across the board, self-described fiscal conservatives, not a lot conservative about some of those trips. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.